Hey, you guys. Uh, Brian Paul sitting here in VR as always. Uh, and today we're kicking off uh, something I've been wanting to do for a little bit. And that is our I Expect You to Die uh, live uh, Let's Play series. Let's call it that. It's a Let's Play series. Uh, okay, we're going to select the move controllers because why wouldn't you? we got two hands in this game. If you get two motion controllers, I say do it. And uh, guys, let's, let's watch this introduction. If you're not familiar with this game, this is an amazing intro. You must think you're so clever. I promise you, agent, can't escape me forever. We're playing a game you take from me, I take from you. But every game ends, and when this one is through, I expect you to die. The best of the best, you'll die. Later. I expect you to die. I expect you to die. When you finally see the worst side of me, will finally be eye to eye. I expect you to die. That voice in your ear. To save you, a mere puppeteer. They only enslave you. You're a piece on a board, I bet with my wealth, my armies of dreams. Your every success unveils still greater schemes. A lake full of acid, a drill from the sky. If you try to fight me, we'll watch your hopes die. Lasers and saw blades with sharks on standby. you to die. I expect you to die. I expect you to die. When you finally see the worst side of me, will finally be eye to eye. I expect you to die. I expect you to die. I expect you to die. you to die all right you guys so i wanted to show that intro off in case you hadn't seen it in case you haven't played this game uh because man we are like obviously super excited for uh Welcome to the Enhanced Operative Division. I am your assigned handler and support agent. Here we go. We're going to be Let's listen fast. to this guy for a second. I have no doubt. What's up, Scott Jessica? What's up, Peter Cordova? What's up, Cat 20? Whoops, 27. Here we go. Whoa. The world around you. Back when I was a field <laughs> agent, we had to pick things up the old-fashioned way. Fumbling for it after our third martini. I find testing your spine to be an absolute joy, don't you? Try leaning oh, okay, they're, they're gonna make us do this stuff here. Some we'll get this real quick. Now that we're finished with calisthenics, let's move on to dexterity. The current slide illustrates your ability to push buttons is beyond reproach. I don't normally condone the use of fire indoors, but what the hell. Pick up the lighter on your left, then press the move button to light it. The move button is the flat, smooth button under your thumb. Use the lighter. Excellent. Let's practice aiming with your new telekinetic powers. Pressing the move button will activate them. The circle that appears is where you're aiming. If it turns blue, you can pick up the object in the same manner that you grab objects nearby. Pick up what we've just sent you through the door. Here we go. Hi guys, kind of getting a little reacclimated to the controls here. Really easy to use telekinesis. You're a natural. While still holding the target, move your thumb to press the hover button shown on the slide. The target will hover in the air. Try hovering the target over the fake plant to your left. Well done. I wish we could afford real plants, but our dry martini budget is disproportionate to, well, 
everything else. All right, now, real quick, guys. We'll wait for over the chair in front of you. Oops, forget to actually push the button. There we go. Excellent work. Let's try one. All right, if they want to make sure I got this down. I want to make sure I get this down too. Over the Maybe it's been a little while since I played it. Well placed. Now. There's only one thing we do to targets around here. Well, two if you count placing them. Pick up the gun and try shooting a target by pressing the move button with your thumb. Great shot. Now, try to shoot another target. Only one target nope. left. Will you pass this rigorous test? Close enough. Opening drawers and compartments will be instrumental in navigating the various desks you may encounter. Excellent. I'll unlock the training slide rail from the projector after you retrieve your new mission from the door. To unlock the training slides, <laughs> grab your first mission from the door. Oh, there we go. Here's our first mission. We'll bring it on over. Yep. Well done. Feel free to explore your new office. Thank you very much. Wait. Enough of you. All right. So. All right, guys. So the, re the reason we're doing this, obviously, is because I expect you to die, too, is, like, going to be here before we know it. And, uh, and I kind of wanted to reacclimate myself to the controls. I'm assuming the sequel is going to be a whole lot like the original here. And, uh, and we're going to see, uh, you know, we're going to see exactly how much... It like the first one it is when it finally gets here uh, but uh, I mean so I don't want to I didn't want to like just jump into this and try to blast through the entire game today I kind of want to go through uh, mission by mission uh, and of course the first one is definitely on the shorter side so that's why we watched the opening intro the opening credits uh, and uh, it kind of went through the tutorial real fast here uh, because today's stream is going to be super short uh, but then of course we'll do uh, one stream per day for the rest of the week until we get all the missions done. This got a ton of DLC, basically doubled the size of the game for free. Uh, it felt a little expensive at $25 when it first came out, but then in, uh, eventually it was like, holy shit, like, what an amazing deal. Shell Games killed it with the free DLC. Uh, so, guys, let's uh, let's jump in. Well, let's hold on a second. Look, before we jump in, just love picking stuff up and throwing it. They give you a lot of stuff to pick up and throw around here. I'm trying to remember... Also, shout out to all the cats in the chat, guys. What's going on, everybody? Hopefully you're all having a nice day. Uh, thank you, everybody. I hear everybody's name in there. Uh, you guys are awesome. Appreciate you hanging out. Uh, so, uh, you know, not to be morbid, but like... Nothing. Nothing. All right. Just good to check it. You know, good to find... You know? You know? You know? Okay. Uh, so, Friendly Skies, the first one is probably the one that you've seen a lot of thumbnails of. We're calling this mission Operation Friendly Skies. I hope you like cars and airplanes, and cars in airplanes. Dr. Zor, corporate billionaire by day, underhanded villain by night, has a cargo plane scheduled to depart for Zanzibar this very evening. We need you to infiltrate the plane before it takes off, gain access to the vehicle held within, and drive it right off the airplane. Sweet. Our intel assures us Zor's car is equipped to handle a fall from any height, so we're almost positive you won't die. Press the start button to begin your mission. Hold on a second. Just... We got some bulletproof glass in here, guys. All right, uh, let's start the mission up. Always fun. All right, here we go. I'm excited because I haven't played this in so long. I think the last time I played it was for a Why We Love episode, and it looks so good. It looks so good. All right, I've forgotten how to play this. I've forgotten how to beat this. You may be wondering why this car can never reach Zanzibar. It has some of the most high-tech weaponry in Dr. Zor's considerable arsenal. Naturally, we'd like to poke at it a bit. Drive it off the plane, and you may just earn that... A little early to celebrate, you, don't you, you think? You be quiet. Don't you tell me what to do. I'll tell you when it's too early. What are we doing? <laughs> Forgot. 
<laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, what up, Jeremy? Uh, yeah, man, I have uh, I haven't played this in so long, and uh, Ash, I'm with you, man. The uh, I remember the uh, the train level being really, really difficult, but that was like I, one of the first pieces of DLC. I think it was uh, first class, and whoa, it took forever. Um, so we'll, we'll get there. Though later this week, we're gonna go one by one, uh, one level per day. Okay. Uh, Detected. Present I for retina scan. Scan failed. Targeting. Laser avoided. Deploying secondary countermeasures. Ha <laughs> oh, the old ticking bomb. I'm partial to plastic explosives myself, but you must respect the classics. I believe diffusing bombs is covered in basic training, yes? Alright. I think, weren't, weren't the instructions for uh, defusing the bomb, like, literally right here? This is what fell through the seat? There we go. Uh, that is not it. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to look around here, guys. Hey! You'll need to cut. Take it easy, Johnny. Thanks for swinging by, dude. Oh, the submarine. I remember that being really difficult. Uh, oh, you know what? Okay, I, I sort of remember this. There is a games cast later, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern. System resetting. Weapons online. <laughs> the bomb's gonna go off. I know I need to, uh... I know I need to do it, but it's like, I really want to mess around here a little bit, too. Still your ticking agent. Perhaps you should disarm that bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna disarm it, I promise. I'm glad, I'm glad we get some time. Is this it? it? Was it just sitting in the pocket the whole time? So green, blue, yellow. Alright, well we sort of got a thing in our way here now, but... Let's grab this. And we'll kind of boom, place it up here. Uh, let's get that out of here. Let's grab this green, blue, yellow. Uh, green, blue. Ah! <laughs> All right. Well, let's try it again. Took me a little time to remember where everything was. Uh, I don't remember what the cannon's for, though. Uh, and so I do remember there being like things in each of these levels that like you can just totally skip. You may be wondering why this car can never reach Zanzibar. It has some of the most high-tech weaponry in Doctor Zor's considerable arsenal. Naturally, we'd like to poke at it a bit, drive it off the plane, and you may just earn that vacation you're always going on about. Yeah, let's we'll start the car first, right? <laughs> Scan. Oh, right, the scan, yeah, I got it. Scan failed. What? Targeting. Oh, it doesn't matter if you succeed or fail. Laser avoided. Deploying secondary countermeasures. Okay. <laughs> oh, the old ticking bomb. I'm partial to plastic explosives myself, but you must respect the classics. Oh, no, I broke the I believe diffusing bombs bottle. is covered in basic training, yes? Bop, 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 bop. Bop, 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 bop. Alright, I think we're going to assume it's the same green, blue, yellow again. Uh, green, blue. Oh no! So maybe, uh, maybe I didn't read the directions right. Here, let's try that again. Alright. Here, let's, let's look at this real quick. Does this change? How to arm your bomb. Oh! <laughs> so I get the, the this is the directions to arm it. Uh, so we want to go yellow, blue, green, I guess. Yellow, blue, green. Roy G. Biv. 
drive it off the plane, and you may just earn that vacation. <laughs> Intruder detected. Present eye for retina scan. Alright, we're gonna be an intruder no matter what. Here we go. Laser avoided. Deploying secondary countermeasures. Alright, let's hit this right this time. <laughs> oh, the old ticking bomb. I'm partial to plastic explosives myself, but you must respect the classics. I believe diffusing Okay, so yellow, blue, green. Training, yes? No ticking is good ticking, as they say. They do now, say that. Can we please focus on getting the car out of the plane? <laughs> take three, right? I was like, this is going to be a super short stream. Uh, we're going to get through this in one take, no big deal. Everything zip, zip, zip. Day one, good stuff. Uh, and then as it turns out, it's like, oh. System resetting. Weapons online. Auto deploy. Top left. Go. Let's get uh let's get some dynamite up in this PCO. Alright. Um trying to remember here if there's anything else we need to do before we get going. There's a gun here. And I don't even like I think can you sh I think you can shoot this. Um so you don't have to avoid it, but I'm not sure if there's anything else you can do with the gun other than create lots of problems for yourself. A bit unconventional, but then again, convention never was your strong suit. You'd better drive the car off the plane before something else explodes. All right. Parachutes deployed. Not too bad, guys. Not too bad. Uh Another successful mission. Now. About that vacation, I'm afraid I lied about that. But I believe hard work is its own reward, don't you? All right. Uh, so that was mission one. Uh, I actually deleted my save game ahead of time to make sure I didn't cheat and try to like skip ahead. Uh, I see you brought back some explosive souvenirs. Nothing so this is great. This gives you some uh, keep it up. We some replayability here. Car, and only two technicians died in the process. A new record. A few of Zor's car phone messages were from the head of a pharmaceutical company that produces lady shampoo. I hope they have plenty on hand because things are about to get. Alright, well, this will be tomorrow's Operation Speaky, Squeaky yeah. Clean will be tomorrow's That's live stream. The need for the shampoo. Anyway, your next mission is waiting for you at the door when you're ready. There we go. Uh, so I, I'm pretty sure, if I remember this correctly, every time you finish a mission, there we go, they actually add stuff to the room, uh, which is pretty cool. So uh, by the end, by the time you're done with all the missions, the place is packed full of stuff, uh, and you can mess around with all of it right here. Just another. Man, I was hoping to blow out the window. I don't think you can though, can you? Give me that. Give me that. I pushed the wrong button. Alright. Okay, we'll just hold it against the window this time. We won't throw it. I don't think you can break the window. I do want to blow shit up though. Alright, let's take this one more one more try. I'm just gonna put it right over here though this time. Up, Andrew Nuts. All right, so it didn't really blow anything up, but it did cause a lot of fire. Always nice. We also get the champagne bottle here from the mission. I just love this stuff, man. Like, uh, what was it? Surgeon Sim. Like, you guys know I'm not a huge Sur Surgeon Sim VR fan. Um, but I, but I did love the uh, the office, the reception office, because you could just like hang out there and screw with stuff. And like, that's, I mean, I think an essential part of like most VR games. Um, we got to get a little buzz before our uh, next mission. All right, that's it, guys. So tomorrow we'll be doing Operation Squeaky Clean, and we'll be doing one of these a day. Uh, it only it didn't take very long to get through the first one. Obviously, lots of reasons to uh, to replay it. This, uh, you can do the speed run in 35 seconds. It's insane. Uh, 
and, and I'd love to unlock all this stuff and see every single uh, thing that every level has to offer. Uh, so maybe depending on, uh, maybe I can look up some uh, walkthroughs and stuff and see what I've been missing. But guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, I'm excited to kick this thing off. And uh, yeah, man, I'm excited for I Expect You to Die too as well, uh, because this is so much fun. All right, you guys, we'll see you on Gamescast in just a couple hours. Love you all. Meow.